Tell me about yourself. Is the first question you'll be asked in any interviews coming up. Regardless, you're interviewing for consultant, product management, software engineers, or business analysts. However, 99% of answers out there are very boring and not impressive. If you're not able to pass a first round interview, it's likely you didn't answer this question well. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the proven live examples how you're able to transform your original answer of tell me about yourself into something much more impressive that's going to land you a job offer much faster. And this is an example of me coaching someone live and transform how she answer this question. I want all of you guys to use the same kind of methodology to craft your tell me about yourself answer. Dr. Nancy Lee, Director of Product and Featured in Forbes. I have helped hundreds of people land a dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup. If you want to achieve the same kind of success, please go to pmaccelerator.io to learn more. If you want to learn the most effective way to become a product manager, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so be notified every time I post a new video every Wednesday. Make sure to like this video and share this video with any job seekers out there. In my last video, which is also one of the most popular videos on YouTube teaching you how to answer tell me about yourself in 30 seconds. And over there, I share with you the framework that you're able to use to craft your 30 seconds elevated pitch. In this video, I am going to share with you how we apply the same strategy to help someone else to transform her answer. Please make sure to pay close attention to the before and after answers after we change the entire strategy of how she start to tell her about herself. I also want to remind everybody to go to the link in the description to download my sample answers to tell me about yourself in 30 seconds. You're able to use the exact same script I use to land my four product manager jobs and three director offers within 60 days. I removed the personal identifiable information of this candidate so all the information we share with you on YouTube Live is good for everyone to learn together. So first of all, let's listen to her before and after answer. Here is before how she answered, tell me about yourself. So hi everyone, uh, my name is and I currently work at a bank. Um, in the last couple of years, I have been helping the bank with modernizing their technology. Um, one thing that I help with is to launch an integration product in the cloud from scratch. And um, so I kind of got the experience to play as the entrepreneur in the team. Um, so I participated in the entire development process. Um, from ideation, design, build, um, testing, go live, and operations. So, um, and on top of that, uh, I also led a team of eight developers um, developing integrations that connects applications together. And um, one part of that onboarding included, uh, including, included building um, integrations connecting um, two ERP systems together which allowed um, our bank to um, uh, decommission 18 systems and to reduce operational costs. Um, so that all happened um, and went live last July of 2021. So I'm kind of at a point where I'm trying to find new challenges and new opportunities and the change of environment. So here I am looking for a new opportunity with um, this company. Now here's after we repackage everything with a new Tell Me About Yourself sounds like. Hi, I am Vini and I am uh, I have five years experience like launching, managing and developing technology product. My latest ex in my late experience, I helped the biggest Canadian bank to move uh, their like uh, existing operation into cloud. This is the very first time this largest bank in Canada was able to move their operation to the cloud. Through this process, I was a, uh, our team was able to help them to decommission 18 different kind of legacy systems. This leading to like 80% cost savings from the room. Makes sense? You plug in the real number, but now it looks like this. How did I change it? So let me show you the step-by-step -step questions I asked her to transform her answer. So hi everyone, uh, my name is and I currently work at a bank. Um, in the last couple of years, I have been helping the bank with modernizing their technology. Um, one thing that I help with is to launch an integration product in the cloud from scratch. And um, so I kind of got the experience to play as the entrepreneur in the team. Um, so I participated in the entire development process um, from ideation, design, build, um, testing, go live and operations. So, um, and on top of that, uh, I also led a team of eight developers um, developing integrations that connects applications together. 
and um, one part of that onboarding included uh, including included building um, integrations connecting um, two ERP systems together, which allowed um, our bank to um, uh, decommission 18 systems and to reduce operational costs. Um, so that all happened um, and went live last July of 2021. So I'm kind of at a point where I'm trying to find new challenges and new opportunities and the change of environment. So here I am looking for a new opportunity with um, this company. Awesome. So we need the first time I heard her pitch, you feel like, well, this person has lots of experience. However, it's kind of long and not very impactful. And you kind of do not remember exactly what she did. You just feel like, oh, she worked in a bank, um, did something. Now, let me share with you how to make it more impressive by giving the punchline up front, showing how many years experience you have in total related to product management. Pretty good. I like how we get started, um, but it gets less memorable towards the end. Let me show you why. Okay. So your pitch, first of all, is too long because we want to make it shorter. Uh, your pitch is mainly missing the impact. The differences between people who land amazing permanent job offer frequently hours during land and a fan offers very, like all the time. The reason was because once they get in, it's a very impressive when they talk about their background and their pitch. So what you can do is start from the beginning. Let's say you should do a summary. You say, I have how many years experience related to product, right? So give me a number. Uh, five. Okay. Like, awesome. Yeah. So you should say, I have five years experience in product management, or mm -hmm. do, is, is all your five years experience like with PM title or consultant or other type of functions or business analyst? Um, it's, it, it started with project management. Okay. So, so and then all research. your titles. Um, so For then research and, uh, so I started with an engineer background and then I moved to project management and then now I'm a product manager. I see. In so in that project. case, mm -hmm. cool. Um, do you think all your five years of experience is related product? or some part of it has nothing to do with product? Some part of it has nothing to do with product. Okay, like which part, the research? The engineering part. Ah, you you build the product, right? Uh, yes. Of engineering. Okay, so yeah. that's that's still related to product. Uh, okay. So the way the way we see this is, um, you just need to rebundle it to make it why it's related to product. For example, you can say five, I have five years experience launching, managing, and the developing technology product. Because when you're a software engineer, you develop product, right? So that's really the product, but you're just more working on the engineering side of product. Lots of people made a mistake when you talk about related experience for management. They forgot that actually when you were engineers or other functions is relevant for management because when you were engineers, you probably know how to build MEP because once you become product manager, you'll be working with engineering team to build MEP. So those experiences are very relevant because you know how to communicate and you also know how the process works to develop product. So therefore put everything together in your end-to-end -end years experience related to developing and launching technology product is very critical. So comment below what kind of experience you have related to product management and I can also share with you and let you know whether that's relevant to PM or not. So, so comment down below and let me know what's your background. So as yeah. long as you specify you're working, developing a set of product plus management, plus like launching the product together mm -hmm. five years. So you should just say five years, uh, like launching, managing and developing technology product, right? So now mm -hmm. next part is you mentioned your current job, uh, like you did some kind of integration with your existing product suite, right? Yeah, so I launched an integration platform and then, a, so that's the platform level. And then on the application level, we also have a team of developers that develop the integrations for yeah. Um, B2B, yeah. You just need to add oh. the impact. I know everybody launched product, but mm -hmm. there's a differences between, let's say three guys in a garage launch a product, then I work for Facebook or Meta. I'm launching the new whatever metaverse, what new thing. So it's differences between you launch a product. So what's the impact of the B2C product you just had? 
So she said a lot regarding what she did, but she forgot to talk about the impact she made. And in reality, there are four ways to describe your impact could be revenue impact, cost saving, and also customer satisfaction and improving the efficiency of the company. And all of this can be mentioned as part of the impact instead of only telling what you did without impact that's useless. Um, so I think the impact here is that it's the first time the bank being in the cloud. So we like helped with initiate, like launching a lot of new processes. Um, so, and then the second thing is that as a result of these integrations developed on our platform, we were able to um, modernize the technology at the bank and then um, uh, decommissioned 18 systems. Awesome. Okay, great. Very good. So she did lots of things, but didn't say it very well. See how I change how she described her experience. Recently, I launched a product that integrates the banking system to cloud which is the very first time that enable my client ABCD Bank. Mm -hmm. I assume the bank is very famous, right? ABCD Bank mm -hmm. was, or, or you can say the, the biggest bank in Canada or the biggest bank in the US. Something like describe how big the bank is. As, as I said, this difference is between Facebook level mm -hmm. or meta level than three guys in garage. You just say how big the bank is. The, the biggest commercial bank in Canada, example, right? Mm -hmm. um, and this is the very first time this biggest commercial bank in Canada was able to move their business operations into cloud. Uh, and on top of that, we have also, you mentioned like uh, you also launched some 18 different kind of features. Once you move it, you upgrade the system for 18 different functions, uh right? No, um, so so um, it's eight, decommission 18 systems. So retire oh. 18 systems. Oh, yeah. And also through the process, we'll also decommission 18 systems so that you need finish. Mm -hmm. Why you decommission? Because it's faster, saving money. So that what? Finish the sentence for me. Um, better user experience um, and reduce operational costs of the 18 systems. And then um, using newer technology. Actually, she did a lot of great job. She's never said it in the interview. Can you see this? For example, she was able to improve the efficiency, better user experience, and all of this can be quantified or put into the impact that she has made through decommissioning 18 different kind of systems. Like, okay, great. Uh, which in, also enable like mobile services. Too long. Um, you just need to say the most impressive part of decommissioning which is okay. we also decommissioned 18 different kind of legacy systems, um, which leading to 80% cost saving or a few billion dollars cost saving, whatever numbers, the re you need to plug in the reality, okay? Whatever the reality is, lead to whatever percentage talk, like a cost saving or put a dollar sign if you want to, whatever is, is feasible, all right? So that will make more impressive. For example, now it sounds like this. Hi, mm -hmm. I am Vini and I am, uh, I have five years experience like launching, managing and developing technology product. My latest, ex in my late experience, I helped the biggest Canadian bank to move uh, their like uh, existing operation into cloud. This is the very first time this largest bank in Canada was able to move their operation to the cloud. Through this process, I was a, uh, our team was able to help them to decommission 18 different kind of legacy systems. This leading to like 80% cost savings. Boom, boom, boom. Make sense? You plug in the real number, but now it looks like this. It's mm -hmm. much more impressive. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the second story, what's your second one? The second one, the first one actually is, is better. The second one is really getting like went down. So tell me what was the second one? Um. So I, I the, the two parts that I talked about, the first one was the launch of the platform. Yeah. So I, I participated like from the very start and, and pushed it to, to production. And then the second part is the, is to build the integrations on top of the platform. Um, so I led hiring 18. Yeah. Like a system, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, yeah. So overall it's a very, it, it's not really only product management. It was a little bit of everything. Um, so then I got to build like two teams, one on the infrastructure team, and then the, the second team was on the application team. Okay. So, um, so the first paragraph is we summarize your impact, right? So the second part, mm -hmm. we can talk about your leadership experience. Mm -hmm. For example, I plug in some random numbers, but you, you put in the wrong number, uh, the right number based on your okay. real experience, right? You can say 
throughout this experience, I was able to lead a team of how many people? Like uh, two teams. Tell me a number. Two teams. Um, ten each. Ten each. I was able to lead twenty other engineers. Um, engineers, um, analysts. Um, yeah. Yeah. So. I was able to lead、uh, a team of、uh, two teams of twenty engineers and analysts together、mm-hmm. to do what? Finish sentence. Uh, to deliver the product and the 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 integrations. Okay. Um, to to provide the end to end transformation for our banking clients.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Does it sounds way better、yeah. than what you had? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so at here we repackage how exactly she was able to talk about her leadership experience, and also how she reset better. The way I said it just sounds way better. We're gonna end to end like transformation for the client, and we're also plugging important numbers such as a team of twenty cross functional teams, the engineers, the designers, and together. All of this demonstrates she's able to,、uh, to manage very large scope project. With the leadership potential that is able to qualify her for at least a senior product manager position. Thank you. Okay,、uh, and then towards the end, the call to actions. I'm looking for new challenges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wouldn't say, well, right now I don't see any challenges. That's why I'm looking for a new job. No, that that sounds、mm-hmm. very not confident, right? Feel like you're getting fired just trying to cover up. <laughs> you see what I'm saying?、Uh, yeah. yeah. So your pitch should be, I'm looking forward to. Like, for example, making if my pitch will be because、mm-hmm. I'm very big on education. Let's say years later, I don't want to become director, whatever. Say、so, okay, so I would say, I I love to join a fast growing education technology company to bring education available to underserved communities and teach them entrepreneurship. Right. So that's a specific call to action. What your goal? What you want to be? Instead of. I'm being in the forest, kind of boring. No challenges. That's why I'm talking to you. You know, no. It's like what, what you. That's a very funny way, coach others. If you feel the same way, give a thumb up and give a like to this video. It's like what, what you, whatever the new mission you want to achieve. That's your call to action. You don't need to give them like explanation why I'm leaving my company. That's a one of the interview question, but not part of your thirty seconds elevator pitch. Okay. Got it. So therefore, your call to action towards the end should be very mission driven, showing that you're looking for like new challenges. What you、uh, like a vision of yourself in the future could be looking for something end to end product management experience, joining A B C D industry and making some kind of impact. So mission driven statement is going to help you to be perceived as a product leader instead of describing、mm, I don't like my current job or hinting you don't like your current job, right? So. Reshape your focus and mindset of describing who you are is going to help you to go very far in your any interviews coming up. Okay, just any anything related to you. Never copy mine because they can tell <laughs> you guys are copying <laughs> my answers. Okay, put in your own words, but something more impactful on、um, regarding the the mission you want to achieve. Make sense? Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? If you want to craft your answer to tell me about yourself, to much more concise way,、um, you can follow the same exact strategy. You are able to download the exact script I use to answer the question. Tell me about yourself within thirty seconds. That helped me to land three director product offers. And you can go to the link in the description to download my exact script and craft yours as well. You can also help me to review your thirty seconds elevator pitch for free. Uh, through my weekly YouTube live, you're able to see the link in the description and fill in a Google form to submit your request to be coached with me for free and live every Wednesday because I want to see all of you guys succeed as well. If you like any of the content, free tips we provide today, please make sure to give a like and share this video with any people who is in the job hunting process. This is Dr. Nancy from PMXSearcher.io. I'm gonna see you soon in my next video. Bye.